Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to do the most fun thing, which is our bleeding tissue paper on our square one art today. I've pulled out color wheels. They're at your table because these are gonna help you put down your bleeding tissue paper so that you don't make muddy colors or brown colors. You want bright, beautiful colors. So when you're doing this today, these big circles, your red, yellow, and blue, orange, green, and violet, these are the colors that I'm gonna be looking at when I'm doing my bleeding tissue paper. If you can, you wanna put colors that are next door to each other on your piece of artwork because those are gonna blend well together. It'll show you. If you put green and blue next to each other, you'll get blue-green. If you put blue and purple next to each other, you'll get blue-violet. So it'll show you what you get if you mix them. If you put colors that are far away from each other down, like orange and green, you'll end up getting a brown color. In fact, if you see my color wheel up on the top of my board, I have a red line connecting the orange, the green, and the purple. Those are our secondary colors, and they don't blend well together. So think about like a stop sign with the color red and think stop, don't put those colors together because they're not gonna turn out really pretty. Now that we've looked at that, we're gonna look at our square one art. This is our kindergarten project. This is the one I'm gonna be working on today, but it is the same process for our second grade project and our first grade project as well. The only difference is second grade, when you put down your colors, you can put them so that you can color the petals, you can put blues in the sky, green for your leaves in the ground. First grade, same thing with you. Maybe bright, beautiful colors up top and greens at the bottom for your ground. Kindergarten, yours is a little bit different because you can put colors all over. It doesn't have to be any certain color, but you wanna look at your color wheel. Okay, so when you put on the bleeding tissue paper, this is what it looks like. It's tissue paper, just like you put in a birthday gift, only it's cut into little squares. And it's special because it will release color when you get it wet. These pieces are kind of stuck together. That's how they come out of the package. And then when I cut them, they stay like that. So you're gonna wanna separate them. You can see this one has about five or six pieces all stuck together. So you wanna separate it. You don't wanna put down a chunk all at one time. So kindergarten, when you do this today, you're gonna to take any color, but think about your color wheel, colors that are next door to each other. I'm gonna put my brush into a little bit of water here, and then I'm going to put my bleeding tissue paper down and dab the top of my bleeding tissue paper. When I do this, you can see already that there is color coming out of it. See that? That's what we want. Now I can put blue and pink next to each other because pink comes from red. If you add white to pink, sorry, if you add white to red, you get pink. So I can put blue and pink next to each other. So I'm just gonna lay down my next piece and then tap the top with water. I'm not brushing and painting, I'm just getting it wet. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. Put my piece down and tap it with my brush. There we go. Now I'm not gonna take it off, I'm just gonna let it be right here and you can see those colors start to seep out. I'm gonna put a blue, now there's a lot of water right here already, so I'm just gonna lay that down to begin with and then tap the top of it. Your fingers are gonna get dirty, totally okay, don't worry. And it's not gonna come off right away with like a baby wipe. Do you see what I did there? I got my paper wet first, now I'm gonna lay it down. That's another way you can do it, but you wanna make sure that your tissue paper gets wet. If it doesn't get wet, it doesn't release the color. All right, so I'm gonna put a pink over here, a light pink, brush my paper with a little water, dab the top of my tissue paper, and I'm gonna repeat this process until I have gotten the whole thing filled. So here's another little piece. I'm gonna get my paper wet, 
put that down. And I can put purple and red next to each other because they are next to each other on the color wheel. Now I want you to stop and think, okay, I'm gonna pick up a green, this beautiful dark green. Can I put green next to red? Stop and think. Look at the color wheel. Are green and red next door neighbors? Here's red, here's green. I can't because they are across from each other. These are actually complementary colors and they don't mix well together. So I'm not gonna put this one here because it'd make a brown and that's not what I want. I'm gonna put this dark green over here, get my paper wet and then dab a little bit of water on top. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna completely, ooh, look at that beautiful bleeding happening. We're gonna completely fill our paper. When you're done, you're gonna bring this to the drying rack, clean up your mat, and then make sure all of the little tissue paper gets back into these containers. Some of it's gonna fall on the floor. Make sure you pick it up because I wanna be sure we use all of it. Um, what else? Brushes and water. Please bring them back to the sink because I'll get new water for the next class. If you are not sure if a color will go well with something, ask me, ask a neighbor, look at the color wheel. These are going to be beautiful when we take off the tissue paper next week. Here we go.